Okay, so basically, um, Miguel came to the block yesterday, mm -hmm. said that um, they saw cars near Purple Dinosaur when they were boosting or doing whatever they were doing. Yeah. Um, they then decided to like leave a bison up there, like kind of like try and fake a cook. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they chased down a car that came and like checked the bison. Um, and yeah. it was GG in the bison in the Tesla. Mm -hmm. uh, when kind of asked what they were doing, they pretty much just said like, um, like, like waiting for a mate. You know what I mean? Like apparently they were waiting for Zork or something like that. Which I mm -hmm. mean, yeah, I, I I don't know. I mean, usually don't like the thing is until it was found out that our lab was there. Yeah. No one would ever go to Purple Dinosaur. When's the last time you heard someone just chilling at yeah, Purple Dinosaur? Yeah, exactly. For a pickup, so you know, to me. Anybody around Purple Dinosaur, because that is common knowledge. Yeah. In my opinion, is is suspicious. That's that's just the way mm -hmm. that I'm treating it. Um, yeah. And then he was saying that later in the day they found uh, a camera at Maldini's. I can't remember if he said they found cameras actually at the spot. Mm -hmm. Um, but pretty much there's 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 more people than we thought, kind of watching that lab. So at the minute we have gang wise is like Rust BSK. GG, in theory. I'd even put Diamond Dogs in there too. Yeah. What? Just one second. Oh. Was good, McGann? Mm, not really, but I think we'll come for another sweep. Um, nothing, nothing that I could see. Um. Ooh, okay. Um, I was thinking of maybe even going like blacked out as like the, like maybe one or two of us or three of us. At the spot, just looking for um, cameras. Because if we're blacked out, and if there's so many groups looking for it, do, do you want me to? Yeah. Do you want me to be honest? There is no way. If I had been caught yesterday, there's no way I'd keep looking for it today. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, I might uh, I might even just go there and just do like a quick radio scan and see if uh, we can we can see like a recurring like radio frequency up there or something, you know? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Um, if I find anything, I'll let you know. Okay. Sounds good. Peace, peace. How sort of was that then, Sam? I don't think I think like now they've been spooked like that, and mm -hmm. if they found um, cameras and stuff. Yeah, the people that were looking will not be looking today. Yeah, because no, Miguel already has motion sensors up there and cameras. Because yeah. if they so... if they're found today, then that just confirms suspicion. Like they already know what what it'll probably be do is it'll be a few days or a week, you know, because they yeah. know they know that we probably won't like they know that they'll do what we, we did with, when we were yeah. looking for the lab. Remember. But they just—they just, they just they'll, know they'll that we won't cook. Yeah, yeah, they just know we would. Like, why would why would Hydra go and cook knowing that there's people hovering around the lab? They wouldn't. But that's only one of them. So, do you think they're all working together? Do you think they're I, all? I doing... don't see. I personally do not see Rust working with GG. I'm not sure what the Rust BSK was... relationship was like, but I don't think it's. I don't think it was that good because we. I mean, we warred yeah. them and stuff, and I think they've they have warred again since. If you remember, they had another war, didn't they? I mean, didn't. I, I swear BSK hated um, GG, no? No, BS, no. BSK and GG's relationship was good. Oh. After that after that war, it, BSK kind of became like GG's little bro. Uh, okay. Like, do you, you know what I mean? There was no... There was no reason... Like, BSK will never be as powerful as GG. Yeah. So it was kind of just like, you know... Good job on the war. Mm hmm But, um... You know, we kind of feel sorry for you a bit. So, you know, there was always there was always a relationship there afterwards. Yeah. Um, I don't know what honest, that's been the, built the, into. I'm not. I have no idea. Yeah. If I'm gonna be honest, biggest one I would say we'd have to kind of worry about is um probably GG because I think they have the most, you know, push for their you know chit chat. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't think. Um, I think this is very just a very good time to information gather, and mm -hmm. um, definitely just play it smart in regards to kind of um, every single radio channel 
it should be assumed it's compromised. Yeah. Um, there also might be some clever things you can do on radios to make people believe certain things and actually just bait out. You know, radios can be used to bait I out. I sell crack. Like, radios can be used to bait out, like, people watching you. Yeah. Easier than even having to go to spots. You know what I mean? If you're calling out certain things. You know what's things, an easy one, right? Mm -hmm. I think I, if, I, if I just call on radio, uh, do you guys want to go do a... Yeah, I mean, it's 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 blatant, but it's a it's a me thing to say, you know. Yeah, I think um also as well. This is what I've been thinking. So yesterday I had a meeting with Deluca, mm -hmm. um, and he told me he gave me some information and basically said, I know where your lab is, mm -hmm. and the police are going to be looking for something else in that area. Mm -hmm. Um, so you know, be be careful. Um, Do you know what the thing is, right? Yeah, there was the bench. Yeah. He told me yesterday it's going to be raided in about three yeah. hours. So, oh, yeah. So, if it's not already raided, yeah, so, right? So, he's had a conversation with you after he'd had one with me earlier in the day. I didn't have a chance to catch up you up, basically. Yeah. So, uh, but I, I think I caught him in a lie in it because he still said Diamond Dogs are granting him access to it. Uh huh. But why the hell would that matter if it's getting raided? Yeah, but what he said, so right, basically, he was interrogated by the cops, so he knew that it was mm -hmm. being raided in 24 hours. So he told yeah. me he passed that information on to the Diamond Dogs, and that he, he said that should save their uh, their operation, kind of thing. Mm. Um, but also something that is very strange to me, and the only thing really that mattered out of what he said yesterday, was mm -hmm. he was adamant that we are still working with Hydra. He said he knows. Yeah. So how does um, he know that? Yeah. No, he he pretty much pretty much uh, said the same thing to me too. So the... I think with Matt being Hydra for a couple of days and repping like a Hydra mask. Yeah. People assumed what was I, correct. I get that, but the only thing I can think that kind of gives like pretty solid proof for a claim where you can call somebody out because mm -hmm. we can just say that was a war term is the fact that all of Hydra's cooks have now access to Jiggity Studios, and they can see that at the courthouse. Mm. So anybody that's been following Stalking Hydra... But how are they going to know who, who their cooks are? Because anybody that's been following Stalking Hydra... You know, because Hydra are being watched. You know, there's cameras mm -hmm. everywhere, but how long have they been being watched for? That's what you have to think. Like, just because they found cameras yesterday doesn't mean that there's not been people on their radios watching them. If, In my honest opinion, if somebody is watching Hydra in and out with cameras pointed at that cubby, they are watching for them going to do certain things. And what things do they go and do? Mm. Is this rhetorical? Well, yeah, they go and do cooks. But you also have to remember, like, it, it, I, I knew before they told me who, who cooked in, in, not everybody, but I knew who cooked in that group. Yeah, you knew a nice chunk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I think at the minute... It's very, very... The, the only issue is, as well, the Jiggity Studios stash where we keep it is the most open place anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think we need to revisit that, and we also need to be a bit more secretive about how we do it and who and how we give people access, because it's just so... To me, anyway, if I was looking through... Well, I'll be honest, I could go to the MDW. Mm -hmm. I could search up people that I know have labs and I could probably I could literally probably put it within one to three spaces where they have the key stored. Yeah, I mean the business business information being public doesn't help, but also Exactly what, what's, how like other than a warehouse, um, I don't see for a house. I mean we have a we have a available spot it on our warehouse. Um but also it's more of a like, so, for example, the Syndicate Industries business, which is the electronics shop, mm -hmm. has a bit more of a, like, a bit more of an obscure name, and then maybe just have one of them employed, like, rather than all of them as the same role. You know what I mean? It just looks very obvious. Yeah. I mean, especially with being jiggity, but also... And flippy. And, and is it Miguel? Like, it's flippy, Miguel. Like, you know what I mean? It's just... It's yeah, just... but, like, how worried do we really need to be? I mean... I think I think what Denzel's saying is they'll put two and two together yes. and be like, oh, the key is stashed in here, just, you know? I mean, not saying that they, they will, not, but obviously, I mean, but we know... So, what I'm saying is, right, we know that they Hydra proposed doing that, okay? 
So mm -hmm. I will put money on it that their key for their lab is probably in a similar kind of storage. Does that make sense? Yeah, because you're going to do what you're familiar with. You yes, know? because they're used to doing it. That's why it was suggested. So, yeah. like, I I just think at the moment we we remove them from Jiggity and then we just find a way to give one person access. Like, it's not we're not we're definitely not removing. Like, I mean, I'm not being funny. They can have the key and we'll remove their access. Not an issue. You know, it's not that's not what it is. Mm -hmm. It's um, thank you, baby. We just need it's to cutting be, the ties between Hydra. We just need to remove the obvious links. If I'm gonna be honest, I think it's too late for that. I think I think if they if they found that information, they would have found it already. You know. Um. If this the Luca guy knows. I'm sure other people know too. But but also at the same time, regardless of whether it's too late, we don't want to be using that business anymore because then they know. Yeah, but my thing is. If we don't use that business anymore, we keep it as a decoy, and let them think it's still that business, you know. Uh, and then just move the, just move it. Yeah. Okay. So we 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 be a step ahead. So what they know, <coughs> we'll we'll let them know what they know, and we'll just move it somewhere else and keep Jiggly Studios as a decoy. I'm with a 500 IQ one you know? step ahead, please. Or Come on now. you will know it's even worse. Percent. Why don't we give them access to every business that we have? And it's like, go find whatever? <laughs> go find the different 20 businesses that you think we might have. <laughs> I mean, we could easily That's do that. actually, because it's all public knowledge, that is actually all, that's better. That's actually yeah. a way smarter move. Yeah, just make a dead roll in each business and hire them. Yeah, call the role the same in every business. Yeah. You won't call it meth lab. Honestly, that might that might actually be smart. We'll... If you call it lab key, yeah, I will give you my four hundred k. It's actually that actually would be smart. Just hire. Yeah, I think... the only thing is, can it shit on the business if they get like raided or anything? No, it can't. But what we want to do, what we do, right? We wait mm -hmm. until somebody exposes that they might know. Then that's when we go and do the, you know, mm -hmm. the employment thing. Yeah. I'm assuming that everybody's, I suppose, deep dived into it as much as I have. I don't know whether mm -hmm. other people will have done. I don't know whether people care that much. But if you're putting yeah. motion sensors and cameras up every day, I'm assuming you care, you know? Yeah. That's mm. got to get expensive, No. I have, um, I have a business, oh. uh, Dean's business. It's called Hydra Security. I could just hire all of us under that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, aren't I already hired now? I think you are. No, I'm not. I was. Mm, let me hire you. Um, I'll make you... Well, mm. you know, I left because I needed the money. You know the um, paycheck, how you get less if you got more jobs? I don't think like, that's true, is it? I don't know, but I thought it was, so I, I left out all the businesses that were pointless. Do you want me to hire you both? I can hire you both. Yeah, please. Follow What's your call. identity? 20759. Um, and then yours... Um... Can, I be, um, can I be HR? Um, yeah, I'll change it to HR later. What's your... Uh... 17478. 17478. I'm trying to get um, hired every job that I own. I'm trying to be the HR at every, every place. Hmm. Yeah, I'll change it to HR after. Hmm. Hello, Miguel. Um, so we were uh, we were chit chatting, and you know how um everyone who chefs up right has a key to Jiggly Studios, and Jiggly Studios is quite obvious. So we were thinking of hiring guys at a couple other of our businesses just to hide the fact that you know we might be using Jiggly Studios for uh, storage. So I have I have a company called Hydra Security. I'm gonna hire you guys at and hire <laughs> you guys at um a couple other businesses. Do you mind just sending me state IDs of everyone? Perfect, and, uh, perfect. I uh, appreciate you, Miguel. Peace, peace. <coughs> what are you saying? I just think 
Well, I mean, Miguel said yesterday, he said that when, there's no way anybody's going to cook in there while, like, people are making it this blatant. You know what I'm saying? Like... Yeah. Um... So... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the, um... The, what's it called? The, 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 the Diamond Dog shit with their bench. I, I literally couldn't give a fuck about that. I'm not really... I, I mean... For... I'm not gonna lie. As much as the Luca um, gives us information, I say you be careful with him because uh -huh. I'm not gonna lie. I would say the Diamond Dogs are even one like a group that want want the lab, regardless. Because um, the thing is, you know what he told me yesterday? What did he tell you? He doesn't. He doesn't really trust. Um, what's his name? The guy in Rust. I forget his name. McGregor. Yeah, he says there's things where it's like they've. There's like falling out within the podium, this and that, blah blah blah. Yeah, he told and me. He doesn't that too, necessarily. Yeah. So, as long as like as much as um he seems stupid, he's a he's quite a smart guy, you know. Um, and what he was um oh this is so. This is also bigger news. I work. I think I worked mm -hmm. out the puzzle. He basically said. He didn't tell me, but the way he was wording it, and he kept saying it. Uh, he was saying that Russ would have to be very stupid, like, to think that, you like, very... Basically, I said, did Rust find your bench before they found our lab? Mm-hmm. And... And he said they'd, they'd be very stupid not to yes, find Yes, basically, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm assuming that that's what happened. And I don't know whether they have anything to do with the police knowing about it or anything like that. But mm -hmm. obviously, this, that, I mean, that's a completely different story. I, I have no I, I didn't even even bother asking. I didn't even say, like, how do the cops know about your bench? Because like, uh, to me, that's something I don't even want to be fucking involved in. Mm. So, this dragon guy, do we know if he actually got Ocean Lamp or no? Um, I believe so, yeah. Okay. Because my, my theory was going to be maybe Rust found out. And that's why, because I'm not going to lie. The way they're treating it doesn't make sense. So the Luca got kicked out of Diamond Dogs. But he's yeah, uh, but he's still trusted to use. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said to him. I said, how the yeah. fuck does that make any sense? Yeah, I, I questioned him, and he but he said like Reed didn't want to take it away from him, and I said, not being funny, if you're not deemed to be family, you're not deemed to be worthy. They're handing you into another gang or whatever, and you're having your hand chopped off. But then he feels sorry for you and still lets you use his bench. It just makes zero yeah. sense to me. Like, Matt was with me, and I, I used Matt as an example. I'm like, if Matt were ever to uh, be blooded out, he'd be most likely dead. Because it, it would be that point where I would want to kill him, and he's dead to me, you know? Yeah. But, and I think that kind of played with his head, but also... I don't know, I think Diamond Dogs should kind of be on that list, too. So it's Diamond Dogs, BSK, Rust, GG, Cops. Yeah, the thing is, I mean, I... I don't trust Reed, but I know what he's capable of, and he will know mm -hmm. the location of every every lab. He's had one in the yeah. past, and I don't really think he's that interested about. If he wanted one, I'm sure he would he would try and find one. I mean, one. they had one before, no? Yeah, Reed. Did we want Reed, to steal it. Um, remember we were uh, up north. Yes, because they. I need some more food. I'm hungry. Well, no, it, it, but it worked <laughs> out, didn't it? That the guy that I've got some. It worked out. Do you Thank remember you. the guy that left um, the lost? Was that um, Frank guy? Yeah. And he didn't join Diamond Dogs. He joined HOA. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. And then he. Yeah. So we, we he was the person that we were we were following around. Yeah. I also I I I talked to um, Andy from HOA about their little door there. Okay. So, we'll see where that goes, but um, we'll have to see. I'll be so honest. do you know the the lab HOA would have right now? Do you know what location that was in or no? Um. I'm assuming Sandy area, they, right? I, I'll be honest, I don't believe they are still in possession. Hmm. Yeah, it was Fred. That's what I meant. Do you know where this Frank guy or whatever his name is hangs out with or not? Uh, he's HOA, but he but he spoke to me after. And mm -hmm. uh, and I, I swear he told me they'd, they'd, they'd got rid of it. Hmm. But, but he wouldn't tell me who, obviously. But, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, I... 